Nerd. We're up to Brazil at the moment. Okay. Use the border blood of it. And leave. Is it? Shotgun. Number four, a bar with many bottles of things to drink. Number five, a water well to fill the bottles. Sorry, I didn't come after you. Travelers, I will be waiting for you at the sand buggy over there, and you have five minutes Sorry. to complete this quest. I repeat, travelers, five minutes. Do not be late. Your quest begins Ew. now. That's the well, that jump scare failed. <laughs> it's, I was literally right above you the whole time. Probably should have landed. Oh, I, was, I don't think I did. Hey, Techno, did you? Were you on the? Were you on the prep room? I thought I heard you. Oh me. my gosh! Oh, you missed this. You missed like you six people doing squats at down. once. It was beautiful. If you were, if you were, if you were recording, Sorry. you'd love no. it. I was at a convention mm -hmm. and I just literally just walked, drove home. Oh, so, that's Well, at least you got here. Hello, yeah. people on your YouTube. Oh. <laughs> Are you recording? Uh, looks like it. Nice. Hello. Is it some weird mix? Because the music is not is sounding right. Copyright like strike. It's echoing weirdly. I can make it better. Yes, I can. Right there. Fuck. One lone tire. Hello. A lone tire. I can't believe I'm in the city of Hef from Kechi. <laughs> It's an honor. I love Kenji. I've never seen the disturbing news. news. I already found that. That's just uh -huh. right there. Yeah. Mm. I, I found a shotgun. It's in the, it's in the I building. I share when this so is over. Have you more vacation? So will he be around to see this coming to you? I I love playing Kenji so much. I don't know. I think it's, it's an answer. 
fresh and crispy. I love a dynamic limo. Didn't she bottle? <laughs> what are you? What? <laughs> we're, 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 we're talking about a game at Kenshi. It's uh, a, a game where you don't <laughs> play. You just like die Kenshi okay? over and over. Literally, Literally Kenshi you die like over and over. Outside of VR, I, I, hate, I hate that so much. Yes, but typically <laughs> in VR. I, I don't know VR controls anymore. Okay, this is new. Bear IRL. Two fingers. I did not think that like it would go to my mic though. I thought that was a mic. Oh, your hair. That's terrible. That means no. That is awful. Okay. And then this means yes. Okay. So this means yes. It's like me. Terrible. Yeah. Why is that option? I don't know. I, yeah, yeah. oh I need I need, I to, I need to fix my TV. I need to <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your drive back from the convention. Yeah, it was fine, bro. While everybody's doing this, I'm gonna go get food quick. I'm gonna go grab some F seven before cause... Uh, F7? Uh, for so... Yeah, uh, what's up? I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get food. That's my record replay button. Oh, Wait, what was that? <laughs> was that awesome? Why did you think you don't have any more vacations? Why are you just eggs? No, no, she's gone. She, I don't know why. She's, she's out of place. She's just out of place. She's out of place. She's out of place. I'm not going to forget that line. Why is it this? Is she actually upset? She's going to do that. Oh my god, depressing amount of water. Hello, existence. No, I'm short. Lol. How short are you exactly? The Empress of Existence. Shadow, did you just die? It's impolite to ask a lady her height. Huh? That's terrible. Oh. Well, I'm gonna go pick a glass. <laughs> no. I'm, 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 I'm getting water. I'm getting myself a drink. Damn, Smopper. Hey, Limber, have you ever had kombucha? There's no way danger among us, so we should talk about the night. Oh, good lord Christ almighty, my fucking yeah, I, I, legs are giving out. Oh, god. <laughs> What's wrong with your legs? <laughs> They're like barely moving. Do another. Do another. Do another. Hey, Major. Do another. Do another. Have you ever had kombucha? Let's just tell you. I like you. Uh, I don't know, they're, they're pretty much the same. I, I'm I'd recommend fun. it. It's a mushroom tea. I know, I know that animation in you. It's, it's a drink that, that comes it. from a, mm. from a tea yeah. mushroom. It's very sour <laughs> and very healthy. Mega flare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Make one. I love the fucking skin. Mega flare. You know, the fucking skin bandits. You know, they're, they're really... Oh, oh, I thought they said mega flag. <laughs> Why are you no, I am not Ah, okay. Oh, I what do you think? I'm sitting down. One <laughs> minute <laughs> oh, remains. Yeah. Travelers, I repeat. What you say, mate? Remains. Why did you shake my mind? Mind? Like, I have chocolate like, peanut butter pretzels here, yeah. son. <laughs> You got chocolates. Give me some chocolate. I got chocolate and peanut butter with the nuts in it. Chocolate. I want some chocolate. I need I'm sure I need to fill up as you Empty food. Are you okay, Lumpy? You haven't telling him how, have you? Mm hmm. I'm just All right. All right. I'm a okay. Yeah, I remember. I'm fine. So I'm just kind of a little bit new to me. <laughs> because you know, I think when I'm busy in real life, <laughs> oops, <laughs> and everything kind of changed. So um, for me, it's kind of a new life. <laughs> so I'm just enjoying the ride. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit tired. I'm in all this room, so it's like, I don't know, like 6 p.m. or whatever. Uh, 6 a.m. I need peanut butter pretzels now. Time out. Uh, I'm recently got this. I'm fine. Five. Mm -hmm. 
Travelers gather around. The story continue. Well done. The quest has been completed. Travelers, did you find all five items? The Encephalos says we have. Yes. I found three. This is Maybe. <laughs> now I ask a special question, travelers. Did any of you find five cactuses? No. Isn't it called cacti? No, of course, Alpharius told him the Kenshi place. Tim. No. Someone else wants to ask. Couldn't have just said the correct I don't want to say anything. And my final question. <laughs> Did anyone find four cactuses? Cacti. No, they call them cactus. Did he even ask us to find the cactus? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes, he did. No. 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 quest. Travelers, I hope that you enjoyed the trade city of Dazil. It's a dangerous place. Well then. The painter mm. gathers the supplies he needs. <laughs> he rents a sand buggy, and he heads out into the desert. There's not many hours left in the day, but the painter doesn't care. All he knows is that <laughs> he needs to keep moving. This way, travelers. I need to know who that woman was. I'm taking someone's bread aggressively. Hey, 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 careful, don't step on my ship. Look at this tiny, look oh, at this wait. tiny toy set. We need a micro machine. Wait, time set. out. Is that a hoverboard, bro? It is now. <laughs> it is. No. 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 Over the dunes as the sand sprays through his tires. The sky grows dark and the air cold. It's quick, sudden, and it stings his eyes. In the distance, he sees nothing. He hopes for anything. A sign of where he should go. It begins to hit him. Why is he doing this? Why is he going into the desert to unexplored places? The woman from the song. There must be a clue. Surely he has lost his mind. But for some reason, he hopes. He hopes that there will be something. And suddenly... There is a light on the horizon of the sand. Multiple lights, searchlights on the side of a vessel. It is a sand cruiser, a military vessel. The painter's hopes quickly turn to fear as he remembers this region is at war. The country of Ava at war with the north. Quickly, he turns off the engine, turns off the lights, and goes below deck, and he waits. But it's too late. The ground shakes, and he hears the ship stop next to him. Soon, there are troops outside yelling at him to get out. The painter obliges. Held at gunpoint, he's taken prisoner on the military sand ship. Travelers, I have bad news. The painter has been thrown into a jail cell. And all of us must follow. Do not 
leave the room. I repeat, do not leave the room and enter the sand ship. You're all up fails. I'm speedrunning this. Any person speedrun painter? Good ending. I'm bad. This is my bad. You have the old bed. Any percent speedrun painter? The L bed. Ah. This is the community bed. Sharing is here. Hey, equal. I swear I'm not take coming. A anytime. <laughs> Does this mean we're sharing a bed together? Well, I don't get a red patch on you, so. It's kind of spicy. It's saucy in here. <laughs> hey. <laughs> we don't have a hammer sickle in our stuff. Stop. Hammer time. Travelers, it sure oh, is cramped in here, but we'll manage. The painter sits down on one of the beds. He looks over out the window, but it's too dark. He can't see anything. He leans against the wall and once again his mind goes to his goal. What is he doing? Where is he? Why can't he remember how he came to Lahan village? He's beginning to doubt everything he knows about himself and suddenly a question inhabits his thoughts. He can't shake it. He has to answer it. It is a spoken trial. And travelers, all of you must answer. Listen carefully. Does complete mutual understanding exist? And if it does exist, how do you define it? If you wish to answer this spoken trial, stand between the beds and take the floor. You mean like Very literally good. the floor? Uh, that's why <laughs> like sure. nobody jumped Walk in. Wait, the floor is lava. Protag Jan, brave soul. Musical entity, flavor of the year. Protag, does complete mutual understanding exist? And if it does, how do you define it? It's a complicated question to say the least, but yes, in a way it does exist. I'd like to think it's, well, when two halves help combine a singular whole. Something like two souls or two halves of one being in one body or two people helping create a singular person. Something symbolic like um, uh, one person uh, looking out at sea and another one steering a ship or one having one half of a wing and the other having another half and helping each other fly. Two people working to create a singular action or individual. Mutual understanding for something they create together. Or achieve together. You said together okay. many times. You speak of two consciousnesses. You said perhaps two souls, perhaps okay. one. Two okay. halves existing in the same vessel. This answer will require you to choose, Protag. Your words are wise and they make sense in the metaphysical Unus Mundus. But you must tell me, is it two souls, Protag? Or is it two halves of a soul? I think it's two souls. Soul caliber. I see. 
two souls that interact towards a goal as such to where they are in a perfect understanding. So, my final question to you, Protag. What or how would you describe the barrier that prevents these two souls from being a single one? Sentience. Sentience beguiles one's uh, required power to perform one's actions. Individuality. Sentience. Sometimes moral, sometimes beliefs. A lot of things that make up an individual can get in the way, but there's nothing more unifying than a singular goal, a singular drive to either survive or to save the world. I see. So experience. There is a distance to the two paths before they cross. Protag, what a brilliant and amazing, spectacular answer. One of the best I have ever heard. 10,000 thank yous. My friends, we have time for perhaps one or two more. Who else will answer the riddle? Unless I do your Diarmid, tell me what is your answer. Yes, complete mutual understanding does exist. When a person plays a character, one that they themselves created, they have complete mutual understanding with them. The creator of the character understands every thought, feeling, and idea, as well as what is physical of the character. And the creator, when played by the and the character, when played by the creator, understands all of those things about the creator as well. That is my answer. Rather unique one. I like it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and what I was planning on doing this complete mm -hmm. mutual understanding is true, true solid, yes. and the form holds exactly as to point. Thank you for your answer. It is, as the encephalon would say, correct. <laughs> but we have time for one more. Perfect. <laughs> Just remember. Big brain says Is anyone else be... brave enough? Eat their it doesn't have to be right to anyone else. Everyone you just is have to follow your heart about it. Everyone mm. is listening, and you are the bravest in the room, Ether Memento. Tell me, does it exist? It's it. And how? Do a squat. Yes. Yes, I think it does. As those who have gone before me have said, it is love, it is creator and creation, it is all these things. It's the communication between two souls. Just because complete mutual understanding does not necessarily mean you have to be of one mind, one body, one entity. This can be shared between several of us, between even friends. And even disagree, even their minds do not have to share the same opinions, the same ideals. Understanding the other persons and accepting it is also part of this complete mutual understanding. And being able to also go beyond those disagreements or differences of thought. I see. Well said, Ether Memento, but I have a follow-up question for you. What if there is a disagreement within a single consciousness internally? Parts of a soul, parts of a will disagree. How is unity, how is understanding reached? Once again, 
of communication, I would know. <laughs> Simple. A single word, Ether Memento says, communication. You're right. You are looking inwards. Foolish mortal. You know not what you do. You are speaking of synchronicity with id and ego archetypes as complementary paradigms. To understand the instinctual spirit, to balance it with the needs of reality, and finally to judge it with morality. This is to achieve unity of mind and will. This is to coincide with your past and future self. This is to love yourself unconditionally. This is complete mutual understanding. Congratulations, you have answered the riddle correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Two correct answers in one day. <laughs> Goodness <laughs> gracious. The story continues. The oh. painter stares at his reflection in the porthole glass for a long while. He tries hard to remember her. Something is in the way like a heavy lead block of memory pressing down. It hurts when he concentrates on it. He wishes hard for a way to get out of here, a way to find what is being hidden from him. Then it happens. He sees something behind the dunes in the distance. It's metallic. It's a fin. A fin of a torpedo ripping through the sand directly towards the wall of the prison cell. The painter's eyes go wide, and then he sees the torpedo drive, dive under the ship before colliding with the hull. The ground shakes violently as the painter braces himself. The underside of this ship must have been struck, he thinks. Another explosion. The door has broken loose. Travelers, this is our chance to escape. Quickly! Through the door! Find the exit! Emergency! Go! Explosion! Just like a Canadian running away oh. from a moose. Get the fuck out of here. It felt like a nice way to cap off the painter for a long time by using my old answer to the riddle. A ton of cornbread in this crate. I can smell it. I see a frozen chicken nugget as well. <laughs> oh shit, oh fuck. Well, at least there's sand on the bottom. <laughs> Uh, ah, crap. Oh, what are you what are we supposed to do with this crate? Oh, they're going. <laughs> we, we work together. We lifted up that crate. I must say something. That angled flooring made me sick. Oh, That's the last of it, anyway. So. Point at Randy. Oh. Travelers, <laughs> listen carefully. The, the painter man. makes his way through the ship as sand fills the halls. He rushes through corridor after corridor, jumping over the panicking guards. He makes his way up the crane, and below he sees... It's there. It's the same. The dark mech. It's our only chance for escape. Travelers, jump for your lives! 
Well, we lived jump. a good life. See y'all. Jump. Jump. There you go. idea was it to jump oh. from a high height onto a mech? Ow! Ask when he's in. You already know everything. Got you. You have shock absorbers. That's perfectly fun times. Yeah. No, Look, I don't. Or oh, at least they don't work. Oh. You're right, oh. man. Uh, he fought Godzilla. No. I feel like my motorcycle what has more suspension. Oh, dude, than your you. legs are not bent the right way. Hopefully, we don't get oh, right, a back for this. I fell onto a giant suit from a high height. I don't even think it's going to happen. It's okay, Alan. My friend, <laughs> just a little cringe. Not going to lie. Continue. I'll hold your hand. I don't care. Gather around where you can hear. The story hear. is continuing, friends. Mm. <laughs> Alright, I'll just lie here in pain. I'll heal over time the as she speaks. The doesn't know who attacked the ship or why. He doesn't care. He finds his way through the flames of the sinking vessel to the upper deck. There it is. The dark mech. He oh, looks at on, the Ed, chest Ed. plate and it opens. He doesn't understand how. But he is able to pilot the dark mech, sprinting away from the wreckage. However, he doesn't make it far, as his path is blocked. Now standing before him is a tall, crimson mech. Two segmented golden whips hang from each arm. A black eye patch covers one of the head sensors, and a large white feather adorns the head armor. The painter tries to move around his opponent, but, is quick, but it quickly strikes the ground at the dark mech's feet, leveling the dune between them. They stare each other down as the sand slowly falls around their metal armor, gleaming under the hot desert sun. The painter prepares to fight for his life, and this is your next quest, travelers. The crimson mech strikes again. It's fast. The painter has a window for action. And you have 30 seconds to choose. What does the painter do? Mother's instinct. Obviously, mother's instinct. Steal a sneak apps. I'm kidding. Honestly, it's obviously mother's instinct. <laughs> Dodge and... Oh no, Please not mother's swords. instinct. I was supposed to say mother's instinct. Um... Okay, oh. um Hmm. I'm sorry if I'm doing weird things. Let's go back from the convention. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm sorry. 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 I'm so tired. I'm sorry. You could disregard that. I'm sorry. Three. Two, Mother's one. instinct. Oh, You're smacking the sorry. syrup out of them. Another lurker. Tell me, what does the painter do? I... <laughs> Mother's instinct. Mother's instinct. Um, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, <laughs> she and I hijacked the, the event. Mother's instinct. One more time. <laughs> Why is it anyone healing me? Dodge and go for the wrist. It's okay. I'm gonna be Sorry. I have hijacked the user. Another lurker, you say dodge and go for the wrist. Is this correct? I fixed my armor, but not me. The crimson mech swings its golden whip high into the air. The sun reflects off it. And the painter quickly rolls to the right, dodging the strike. The sand is ignited in sparks. The crimson mech begins to pull its whip back, but before it can retract, the dark mech is already up close. 
how the painter pilots the machine to a spiral uppercut directly into the crimson mech's arm shattering the armor plates of the wrist the go. golden whip of the right arm falls to the sand the, 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 the crimson mech backs away readies itself and prepares its left arm with the left whip to strike it's fast but perhaps the painter and the dark mech are faster the crimson mech prepares to strike and the painter on, must decide what to do travelers you have 15 seconds to decide father's punch Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, on. Or mouse man hunch. Mouse man, what's your hunch? Hey, what's father's hunch? Time has expired. Limberry. Limberry. Yes. Tell me, what will the painter do? I would say I'll. I'll the Mac grabs the whip that's on the ground and then whips the other arm with the whip in hand. Kinky. I see. Hopefully to put a leash to pull it. The dark mech dives to grab the golden whip laying in the sand. <laughs> With both hands, he swings it overhead, cowboy style, and toward the crimson mech's face. The crimson mech easily dodges and swings his left hand wide, striking the dark mech in the neck and sh shattering the ar armor. The dark mech has been damaged. And the next round begins. The painter writes himself ready to attack, and the crimson mech prepares again to strike. Suddenly, an alarm goes off in the cockpit. Ether amplifier fully charged. Ether amplifier fully charged. The painter does not understand what this means, but he sees a button flashing. A button with a silhouette of a human brain. He now has 15 seconds to decide what to do. Press the encephalon button. Shatter arm, grab it. Shatter arm and smash them across the ground. Oh, you have to push the button. Always do a flip. Yeah, push the button and then flip it and shatter it with the extra strength. Pushing the button makes it easier. It's a microwave brain button. So push the button and aim the beam not at the crimson mech, but to his side. You know, no, not not fly. actually hitting him, but just to intimidate him, and then run off. Just fly away. Forty shots. Just fly away and run. Yeah. Yeah. Never heard of it. Pocket sand. <laughs> Pocket sand. <laughs> it worked. Time has expired. <laughs> That's why I have here. sand in my pocket. Let's see. Not since the boom of 97. Infinity 8, hello there. Infinity 8, do you speak? Well, seems like not. 
No worries, I will pass. Probably not. It's okay. The silent Kumi Q. Hello there. Kumi Q. The Crimson Mech prepares to attack. And it seems that the ether amplifier is fully charged of the dark mech. Tell me, Kumi Q, what will the painter do? I'm gonna say YOLO, press the button. Turn it on. Press the button, <laughs> and is there any action you wish for the painter to do after pressing the button? Warning shot, warning shot, warning shot. Okay. I'm gonna go for one and shot. He's like Bowser. Warning shot. Maybe, maybe like a grazing <laughs> shot. Maybe like take, try and hit the side wow. sword off. Not like full on hit him. Dead. <laughs> I understand. Kumi Q. Turn to your left and Five. look at the tour guide staring at you. Good choice. The story. Continues. <laughs> Should have used the, the dark. The dark oh, mech sir, clasps its hands together tight and rounds them close to its side. The hands slowly separate as a flickering ball of hot white ether appears between them. Uh, the bye. painter manipulates the dark mech to open the hands and a world ending beam erupts toward the crimson mech the crimson mech does not know what to do taken aback by such a show of power the beam heads straight for it and collides but not at its center the beam annihilates the right side of the crimson mech and the right wall of the cockpit exposing the pilot to the outside air and the desert sand the pilot is just barely unharmed but in shock and the crimson mech falls onto its back the painter immediately opens the wings, ignites its thrusters, and flies into the desert. My friends, yeah. this Yo. way. You just became <laughs> a Damn, did you get a good look at the pilot? Are we gonna make sure that they're alright? This is supposed to be a warning shot, not a dead-on shot. Oh, he didn't get hit, no for, fun. That, that's a warning oh, shot. Yeah. Can we check? Well, can we check? Nah, that's fine. worry about the it. Desert city of Bledivik, and wait for me by the gate for your Be next so. quest. And. You don't remember Bledivik? Yeah, yeah, um, this is the hardest going oh, this song is the place that had no that was the other place <laughs> is this the one that had the <laughs> broken texture travelers <laughs> gather around the story <laughs> continues <laughs> yeah but I, I don't think i did i might have i just don't remember it everything's broken if you're brave enough <laughs> yes travelers <laughs> the painter parks the dark mech outside <laughs> hidden behind a hill and he enters the desert kingdom of Bledivik. Below him, down the streets, is a busy market. People buying and selling, yelling, and getting what they need for today. The painter enters the crowd and finally finds an alleyway between the buildings and the shade. He lays down on the ground and finally rests. A short while later, the painter is approached by two young men. He stands back up, raises his hands, and prepares to fight. But the two men 
and motion that he has nothing to worry about. They speak and claim that they are here to make a deal. They are here to ask the painter's help. Travelers, to hear the rest of this story, you must complete a quest. Listen oh, carefully. Come on, hit that. I will be waiting for you at the back of this city. You must go up the stairs all the way to the back to find me, and you will have ten minutes to complete this quest. Travelers, I kindly ask you, do not be late. Ten minutes. What about the door? Your quest is as follows. There is a door in this area that you must not enter during your quest. That door will have my fellow tour guide, Trajim, right here in red. Trajim will be standing in front of that door. Please do not go in that door. If you do, you will cause the map to despawn for everybody, and we will all fall through the floor and go back to the spawn room. If that happens, kindly use the shortcut to blend it. Now then, your quest is to locate the following. Listen carefully. Number one. The aquarium. Number two. The hotel. Secret exit. Number three, the weapon shop. And number four, the small toy mech on display. And number five, the machine walls of the machine shop. I repeat, number one, the aquarium. Number two, the hotel secret exit. Number three, the weapon shop. Number four, the small toy mech on display. And number five, the, the machine walls, the metal walls of the machine shop. You have ten minutes. Your quest begins. Emergency. I'm in the machine shop. Oh wait, that's not. Would you like your fortune told? Where's my phone? I can hear my phone. I can hear everything. <laughs> Jump up every stair. How is this? A VR chat world. Yeah, yeah. And fun. And then you have. Where are people now lost in the sauce? Uh, yeah. the one person I haven't go? seen anymore is Zombie. Did, Did they, they get off? Just, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> don't know. Mr. Them. Mr. You look beautiful today, did you know that? This is not sight properly for us. I'll make it through it my 2.0 skills. My 2.0 skills. <laughs> yes. Oh, again, skills to the max. Oh my god, I'm spamming my space bar. 2.0 skills. skills. Some. Hello, so. 2.0 word skills, come on, let's One go. Three chance. Okay. Come on, man. How are you? Try it, try it quicker, quicker. I like I, it. Uh, it was good. So, that no. answer was Why actually... Are you
then he went into the foolish mortal you know not what you do and everyone cheered. <laughs> that was a cool moment. I actually have a video of that. Yeah, I guess. You can just put that video. Well, I'd like to see. See, see, I should have gone close. I will put it in Beer Traveler again for right now. Yeah. I, I used to burn that part back then. It's over, tech now. In a different name. I like to see the floor. I have the high ground. Also, it's really quiet, so you have to turn on the flame. Because it's on someone else's stream. Fair enough. Ah, the mighty techno statue. To be edited have been made, basically. Um, it's just a matter of Keen going over and doing all the edits he needs to uh, make it work for him. Basically. He is your god. Um, Thou so is that all? Is that for the, the community or something? That it will be finished by the time we're done. Uh, <laughs> he is a new oh. god, Bell. Then it's all, it's just like. I think it bowed too hard. Confirmed from his team whether that's realistic or not. Wait, you broke a server or something? Two release dates, question mark? No, a bone. You are correct. I wish for my current project to be at least at a point where the world builders can take over without my direction before I begin on yours, and that, that point is coming very soon. That's great to hear. So if you need any okay. cool desktop avatars, I can certainly try to provide. I want to see nerds, no objection. That's my word. Uh, when people ask me this, I will just tell them that Ask Scavenger 2 is over. Somehow. <laughs> Finally. Then more yeah, the next one is Scavenger 2. Almost. Long time. It's been it's it's almost it's like... So, the initial project, the initial project was described when we got the good ending of the paint the first time, which was in September of 2020. Yeah. So Come on. Now I can get up there. Uh, turn, 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 on, turn on your wings and let's, let's just go. Oh yeah, I don't have those. Not on this one, anyway. Add a collider underneath your avatar. Angle it up. Yeah, no, I don't have one on this one. I think that one is you should add one. Ah. That way we could fly around. I think it has a lot of it would be Don't fly though. It'll, it'll just uh, ah. be a little bit before it's completely ready. It, it has a very different vibe Boop. to all of the other two. And to come up here, what I plan on doing. Gong. What would be the next tour the Army done? Would it be Scavenger 2? Yeah, or whatever. This next weekend is Scavenger 2, and we'll just keep running it over oh. and over until we get the good ending. Because there won't be set uh, endings, yeah. as Trajan has said. We will actually be running oh. it as a new tour. Because it was never solved for its own run uh, with new time. It has multiple really? of seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's got like, so there's like bad ending no, one, bad solved. ending two, like bad yeah, ending yeah, yeah. A, bad just, ending B. Yeah. Just like the, just Ooh. like the iteration. I can't actually wait. I, I really hope I can win this door. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I, never, I only got like seen, I only saw it mentioned once and like never again. I'm so excited to be on it. Yeah. Actually, I've heard about it. I've never got the I've heard map of this door. I'd recommend I've heard anyone who's interested in of your endeavor tour to create to, uh, look a map. The Scavenger 2 channel because there were people that were describing it. some stuff in there. Mm -hmm. I, I was reading over some of that stuff. I I tried. Tried. It's been a long time. That I guarantee. Is that scroll that we deciphered part of Scavenger 2 or is that from a different story? It will be amazing thanks to you. Good luck, friend. Also, I forgot to put my straps on my controller and I needed one of my controllers a little bit ago. Oh, it's fine. If I break a controller, I break a controller. It happens. Travel okay, we are in the middle. Let's just short three minutes, minutes remaining. I repeat, oh, it's really three bad. minutes <laughs> remaining. <laughs> At least I have chocolate pretzels with peanut butter. That's all I have to say. Oh, yeah. uh, that's a good question. I think it was like.
It was, it was more control. Almost it was a year ago the now. Of season two. God. Like a little, yeah. yeah it was it was before the Golden Door was open, so it would have been in June. Yeah. So over this a year ago. This year. No. No, June last. Oh, last, last year. Last year. Last year. Holy yeah. shit, dude. I now have oh, food enough for I've been such a thing that I did not expect it to be. Like, I have, holy I'm fuck, filled up with chocolate, vegetables, and the cookie butter. Well, yeah, it was, it was it was very cool, cool, but I also don't like what it did in some you respects. Like it forced away from your mic. People yeah. being suspicious of each other if anything got out. Like, yeah, you, you sound bad. Yeah. 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 I I know. I just, I just Why did it select the other microphone? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need to turn you down. I was definitely in trouble. I didn't say that. I turned you up to max. Yes, now I can hear you. It's not quiet now. Oh, man, I'm not having more. I'm going to just try and find them. But anyway, my friends. Halfway to stump the bottom. My friends, your attention, please. Good time. Apologies for cutting our time short, but it appears everyone has completed the quest, and therefore. We will what go ahead. Attention, please. <laughs> Apologies for quiet. cutting our time short, but it appears everyone has to oh, gather around. I can hear. Gather yeah, around. I'm a jacker. You did you better tell a story. story. Travelers, Circle kindly, the I beg your silence. The story <laughs> continues. The painter speaks more with the two young men. He learns that they are desert pirates. The desert pirates that attacked him in the desert. Just now. Just before. On the military sand ship. But they explain to him that they are also royalty. They are, in fact, Desert princess, heirs to the throne of Blendivin and the country of Ava. They explain to the painter that they need his help to take back the throne after witnessing the power of the dark mech, a weapon they have never witnessed before. They wish to ally with the painter. They explain that their father, the King of Bledovic, passed away recently, and upon his passing, a corrupt military leader, an admiral in the army, took over. This admiral ousted the desert princes, forcing them to live in exile. And now, the Admiral runs the kingdom. He takes hold of the army, begins attacking the north, begins attacking remote villages, and taking control of everywhere that would have been in a neutral standing. The two desert princes now live on a sand cruiser in the desert along with a crew of loyalists and they do what they can to survive attacking military vessels of their own people for supplies waiting for an opportunity to storm the castle and this is it they offer the painter as follows. Help them storm the castle and take back the throne, defeating the admiral, the corrupt leader. And they will help the painter in return find the woman he is searching for. The painter thinks for a while. And he realizes something's wrong. He never told the desert princes about the woman from his memory. How do they know? 
Instead of feeling distraught, the painter feels something's wrong with himself. He's missing a memory. Even as recent as the battle in the sand just now, he understands that there is something very wrong here. It is not with them. He looks them up and down. He feels that they are honest people. They are telling the truth. But the details do not add up. And the painter's heart breaks. Because he now realizes he does not know who he is. The painter has a choice, travelers. And so do all of you. If you choose to help the Desert Princess take back the throne, stand next to my fellow tour guide, Trajan. If you choose to not help the Desert Princess and go your own path, stand next to my fellow tour guide, Rendizo. Make your choice. Oh, God, Christ, so much. Um, so, uh, 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 so, u
and he's forced to escape with the two desert princes in tow. They flee Bledovic and run back out into the desert. My friends, please follow me. Insert motor. That plan didn't go well. Injury sounds. I don't have a plan B. Yeah, self destruct. Does anyone have a plan C? Yes. Throw a boomerang. Run away. I like plan C. Fish, as we have a this desert is cooler than I ever hey, of sand, that is. As the painter and two desert princes flee, they are chased by guards and soldiers alike. They get closer and closer, and it seems like they are about to be caught. But then... The entire desert begins to shake. The dunes lift as though a mountain is being born before their eyes. From the ground emerges a colossal metallic vehicle. The painter stumbles back, afraid, but the desert princes rejoice. As the sand settles, the two princes quickly board the machine and the painter follows them. They have been saved by the sand submarine the Yggdrasil. This is the center of operations for the Desert Princes. My friends, the Yggdrasil is right around this corner. Let's bread this get, kids. It's the park boat. It's the park boat. As you can see, the tooltip does not say Yggdrasil, it says Barnes Lair. If at any point you need to respawn and get back here, the shortcut door at spawn is called a Barnes Lair. Well, let's go inside. The Desert Princes lead the painter to the docking station of Yggdrasil, which is currently below. They tell the painter, even though their attack on the palace failed, they still want to help him. However, there may be an obstacle. The captain of the Yggdrasil will most likely want the painter to earn his stay. The painter notices there are soldiers hurrying about in uniform. He gets the feeling something urgent is happening very soon. Let's go and meet the captain. This way. I kind of want to clear right now. Oh, oh captain, my there. captain. We might, we might have them on the kitchen. I the kitchen, though. Right now. Bunga bunga. Ooh, I need ice cream. Standing in the middle of a simulated map of the land, with hands folded behind his back, 
studying the digital terrain, is a tall, stern man. The captain of the Yggdrasil slowly turns. Everything is still. He sees the painter and stares down at him with an icy gaze. Breaking the silence, the desert princes introduce the painter to the captain. The captain seems unimpressed with how the painter presents himself. Nevertheless, he trusts the word of both desert princes and decides to give the painter a chance to prove himself and earn his stay. To begin this process, the captain asks the painter to complete an important task. Do listen carefully, as the captain is not one to repeat himself. Outside this room, across the boardwalk, is the cafeteria. Go and acquire a hot cup of coffee, and you have 30 seconds to bring it back here. Yes, sir. Mm. I'll do that in 10 <laughs> seconds. Is this Pokemon? <laughs> Absorb. One coffee for you, oh, Captain, my Captain. It's got plenty of rest milk. Here's a cup. Here's a cup, my Captain. The painter hurries back with the coffee, careful not to spill a drop. He passes it to the captain, who accepts it with a straight face. He slowly takes a sip, and nods once, acceptable. The captain, desert princes, and painter all head to the Yggdrasil. My friends, please, follow me. Sir. I wonder if it did actually sold to a cup of coffee. Take care not to fall down the elevator shaft. There are gaps around. Additionally, you must click the railing around this elevator to go to the next area. If you are caught in the elevator when you teleport, jump out of it or move forward. Please wait for me in the next area. Why don't you get these the open? Shaft as soon as he tells people not to, couldn't be me. <laughs> Do not fall down the elevator shaft. Okay. So I've already, I already Captain missed that step. Captain on deck. Cap. <laughs> My friends, please open the hatch and descend. Piloted. I wonder. Wow, I can't believe the pilot two is already out. Wait. Uh... Damn, I didn't know the pilot and the painter cross over. <laughs> Everything crosses over. You a crossover is... event? I went to look. It's the Star Traveler Cinematic Universe, you guys. Star Traveler is a painter than Infinity War. Pi painter. Okay. Wow. Well. We have no idea what the great treasure actually is, but it is said to be strong enough to save our kingdom, even if it is ever in plight. And she has the jasper that tells the location, only half of it, to be precise. The young master and her each have half. Only by combining the two halves will anyone know where the treasure is. And what exactly is the Fatima Jasper? 
When you say half of a jasper, I imagine some kind of necklace. Only the heirs to Ava and Nissan know exactly what it looks like. I see. So that is why they have her locked up. My guess is that when they do find out, her chances of living are not... Ah, I apologize. I simply... I mean, I was only supposing the worst case. Please do not take it to heart. No, that is a terribly realistic scenario. <clears throat> what exactly do you mean by great treasure? Well, uh, I haven't the foggiest. The gear. He means the gear. That has to be it. Young Master, are you all right? Yeah. Even though they were sealed, sand's gotten into the joints. It's a pain in the neck to fix it. So I'm having the crew take care of it now. My job is just a pile of them anyway. And besides, I'm bad with machines. I'll just get in the way. Young master. Anyway, what are we talking about? Oh, whether the great treasure could be a gear... Oh, yeah. You know, something like that is drawn in one of the Ava picture scrolls. Picture scrolls? Well, if you're interested, then let's go to the planning room. I'll show you what I mean, since you are my special guests. Oh, that does sound interesting. Oh, my friends, I'm not sure what happened there. We got our wires crossed somehow. You weren't supposed to see any of that. Well, the story continues. Please follow me. I didn't see fuck anything. I just got yeeted through the board. I still really want to see a, the pilot for the meter. I am on cross. Any percent speed run, ladies. There's two boxes. Okay. Two boxes. Two box. Roger. I am going to say 15. Two boxes. Okay. Roger.
Where is everyone? Good, he says. He then agrees to give the painter a more urgent task. Once more, take the hatch into the Yggdrasil behind you, but do not take the elevator. Instead, remain on the upper floor, locate the bridge, fetch the report for the captain, and bring it back here post haste. Uh, that means captain. as quickly as possible. Suddenly everything turns red. The painter's eyes sting, alarms blare all around. What's happening, demands the captain. He pulls someone aside and checks the monitor. The escape pod alarm is going off. He whips around and looks at the painter. You there. Go to the escape pod in the barracks of the lower floor. Find out why the alarm is going off. Go, hurry! Yes, captain. Roger that. Let's move it out! To the line! Be good at clicking buttons. That is the I most think honest thing I've ever heard. Clicking buttons. That's all what Stanley did, did, day in and day all. out. That is all he waited for the pump on the screen, screen, and then he clicked the buttons as he was told. That was all Stanley's life was, and he was happy. God damn it! I don't want Stanley Parable moment here too. We're My head hurts. Among us. Cheese. 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 The painter locates the escape pod, and he sees a man in the process of opening it, but he's in a different uniform. He's not supposed to be here. It's a spy. But it's too late. The spy has seen the painter. However, the painter thinks quickly on his feet and claims to be one of him. The spy turns and narrows his eyes warily. If what you say is true, says the spy, then you should be able to answer me our secret spy's code. What? Can you only see in complete darkness? The painter is but one man and can only give one answer. You must reach full consensus as a group before five minutes is up. Your time for discussion begins now. Yeah. Right. I think I know what you. I think I know what you can say. This is quite simple. It's not. Um... So there are several answers that can work, but I like the fun VR Traveler's Connection answer. In the Archaeologist, what could you only see in complete darkness? A pair of glowing red eyes. Hmm. Wait, my 
there are cool in real life, huh? Yes. Would that light is the work? Answer. I'm just curious. You can't see light yes. in darkness. That doesn't make sense in the context of the If there's darkness, then that means photon. there's no light. If there was more oh, light, you wouldn't be able to tell there's just one photon. Also, mm. also it's a code. It's not a riddle, really. Oh. Spinning. So that means so so the like answer light. is it's a pair of red glowing eyes. Is that yeah, it? There are other I answers like that work. I think truth. Cool. I think the truth works as well. Yeah, another two. I like a pair maybe. of glowing red eyes just because archaeology. Mm. Pair of glowing red eyes. Light is still better. I like light. The answer is clearly photosynthesis. Well, technically it's light. It's yeah. just a different <laughs> color. What I can't yeah. see is the outline of him we are talking about. Besides, head. she isn't talking anyway, so there's no need to worry. Ah. But where did the leak about the Jasper come from? The ethos? <laughs> Ridiculous. Hmm. Yeah, this continues. My plans will be... Well, we had better find out who is leaking out our information immediately. In the meantime, we'll have to administer some truth serum to our guest. We must find the other piece of the Fatima Jasper as quickly as we can. Two minutes remain, friends. I got it. What is our tour guide on about? about? Does he mean, does he mean like a tour is what he's doing? No, not spoiling. If I don't remember it tomorrow. That's fair. In fact, I already forgot. Spoil a lot. Let's be honest. Benefits of single brain subordinates. I'm gonna stop. Several mentions of the body of Jasper, which is a Xenogears thing. If I remember correctly. So, we are going with glowing red eyes thing. I... Yes, glowing red mm, eyes. I... Yes! Yeah. Thus spoke no, roll no. on, dear yes. moon. I am, I am going buck. to be majorly disappointed if it's not the answer. Go back and what? Face the Fireborn? He'll kill you, and then he'll lock me away or kill me as well. He'll tell everyone that the Oracle chose him, and nobody will be able to disagree. The church will change forever. Mother will be powerless to stop him. And then, Daisha will invade, and the people will have to live under the rule of one of two monsters. We're not going back. Not until I find a way to stop him. And while I search, I'm... I'm, I'm going to stop the Dacians. Yes, we'll go to Felden and warn them. Help defend the town. I'll kill every Felden. dish never I have to. We can still make a difference. I won't have another lake fort. Do you hear me? We still... EDF! Felden. Felden wins. What? Felden ring? Felden. He's, he said Felden. Oh. He said, the, the, he said the he said the word he said the funny word that made my brain tingle. Stop spoiling the new Lord of the Rings series. Thirty seconds to reach a full consensus. I'll be already there. Yeah, red blowing eyes, dude. He's spoiling the new Lord of the Rings scripts. Okay, is he just padding out time for the other paths? Yeah, probably. Probably. The other path is quite longer. Hi? Like yes. the path is uh, this path is basically done after this moment, if Hello. I remember correctly. Protect you, Chandler. Yeah, but like, okay, so, Felden, so okay, so is this like, so this is uh, something that is probably either going to relate specifically to the Scavenger Two, or is going to tie That's the Scavenger, the scavenger, scavenger Two talk. Has expired. I don't know. I would like, on the count of three, everybody to say what the painter's answer is to the spy's code. One, two, three. 
A pair of red eyes. 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 Red The painter thinks for a moment, digging deep into his mind to try and align these familiar words with something he has heard or seen before. Ancient peoples of Dezil, the legend of the Grey Queen buried sites of a long lost pilgrimage. Yes, he has a response for the spy. Red eyes. The spy stands slowly, turns to face him front on, and he looks the painter dead in the eyes. Despite only moments passing, to the painter, it feels like centuries. A feeling he is only all too familiar with. The spy speaks. The answer is the question. There is no world to the blind. The land dangles above an ominous orange glow. Beware, red eyes in the abyss. He gives the painter a single nod and comments on how strange it is that she has suddenly decided not to set the bomb off. He asks the painter to watch the escape pod so that he can disarm the bomb. The painter obliges and the spy leaves the room. The painter's heart pounds. Bomb? Did he give some sort of coded instruction accidentally? His body anticipates the worst case scenario. The captain storms into the barracks, flanked by two desert princes and his own soldiers. The captain doesn't look panicked. He looks like he has just cleaned up some mess. He explains that thanks to the painter's quick thinking, they found the spy and the defused bomb. Though the captain's expression is stoic, the painter can hear the gratitude in the man's words. The desert princes remind the painter of their deal, and this is what they share. When the painter first told the princes about the music box, the one at the good doctor's house, they recognized the mural he described, the mural that is within this box. They have seen it before. The princes tell him, Go to the holy city of Nissan. You will find answers there. The captain and the desert princes take the Yggdrasil back to Bledevik. They recover the dark mech. They continue their own war. And the painter heads to Nissan where he can continue the search for the woman from his memories. My friends, please follow me. No. You go. No. No.
Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? Where did they go? Uh, Went to the elevator. <sighs> Hit the button. The ladder. Nope. Huh? Press this. You can make it! I see a rat running hey. up the walls, better shoot it yeah. down! Yeah. Fucking pass it. Yeah. I had complete faith in you. Sure. Alright. Yes, let's walk at a slow pace. Definitely oh, not stalling. It's not like we're in a rush. <laughs> Fuck you. So, you're saying I'm stalling. special. Yes, you are. My friends, this is where this branch of the story ends. It seems like you have done quite well on this path. Congratulations. The painter has helped the desert princes. They have helped him, and he... He has recovered his mech, now heading to the holy city of Nissan. Please follow me. I will take you to the city, and there we will wait for the other group who got caught and sent to prison. The fools. They're bad yeah, influence. We are foolishly foolish. So uh, foolishly fooled those fools. To Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Everything smells like copper. California girls <laughs> unforgettable. I very tempted to go on that bridge and walk all the way there. Please wait in here, friends. Oh. Wait in this on for the group to arrive. Shin yeah, a waza he's a. I have a question. Since they went to prison, so we ask if they dropped the shoes. Say that again. Hello. Since they went to prison, so we ask if they dropped the soap. Hi. Are we there yes. yet? <laughs> we should. 10 out of 10. I am once, I am once I again asking for your... Travelers, the other group will be here in just a bit. I beg of your patience. While you wait, please feel welcome to admire this beautiful place. Talk together, tell jokes, even dance a jig, if you so dare. I am once again asking... Where the hell are those chickens? Sure. <laughs> I missed. I am. A fire and a mist. A fire and a mist. I don't have uh, that. I don't have 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 that. I still got it. What? Yep. I am once you again back asking going back to VR. for a little troll. Yeah, it's <laughs> nice like to play. Play. Are you or just hands? Hmm? Yeah, I've been playing VR. I just, I've just been playing. Uh huh. I don't know. What was that? <gasps> a little, a little what? I would like to once uh, again ask you okay. for your financial support and doing a little trolling. You said there I popped my kneecap. That trolling. Okay. Snap. It took over. No. Okay. Anyway, the troll gave on Berzer. I suppose that's just the absence of anticipation. Oh, yeah. And then a surprise. Yeah, well, he's got his trolls. 
Maybe. State your terms, Protag. <laughs> well, if you were to tell us when they come, we could all stand in a line from here to here and just tee post. We should tee post. And we take a picture with that? I wouldn't like, I wouldn't mind do that. Look, I'm tee posing. Oh, by the way. Where are my invites now working? And I'll play something really funny when they arrive. Because I've accepted, oh, no. accepted like I just two kept or three of your invites. Yeah, I, it was lurking. Uh, I just kept getting distracted. <laughs> I will support them. Sorry, I thought it was an issue of mine. But I also welcome oh, to no, keep no. thinking. What else could we do? They have perhaps another five minutes before they get here. So, uh, keep thinking. We, we could all, uh... Go around in a circle and start squatting, saying hiya, hiya, hiya. What if as soon as they arrived, we all just shun them and please just shut up and just try to stay with them? That's why we said we should see those. We should see both. Please, no squat. Yeah, like from here. Jokes on you, I don't have weapons. I will go rally the troops. I my sword. My bed's right here. I'm convinced a couple times. There are a couple pictures actually in the rendezvous of like that spot that I'll take to go the It's heavier than it looks. <laughs> the other half of the server or of the uh, map is going to come here in around five minutes, and we're planning on doing a little trolling where we're just going to stand all line for just looking at where they're going to come in from, which is the game on Delicious. What the fuck? So it's the line will start from there. Why does it come on the floor? Oh, oh my god! The way over to there. <laughs> I don't think that's pudding. I am sorry. I am sorry. Let you know, it is still on the wall. I don't see it. That's a funny fault. Uh, we we want to keep it simple. You don't see it, but that's we not. do. No, I, I am majorly fine. worried right now. You're fine. Don't worry. What did you put in the air dryer? Ready. They don't call me the musical bastard. This is a yeah. gun. Captain, Panda, Simo, Techno, mm -hmm. would you like to join us in a little trolling? Yeah. Mm. I would love yeah, to. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know the plan? We're gonna do a line from the barrel to the bench and just keep those when they arrive and I'll play a music and be kind of funny. Good evening. Mm. Yeah. Okay. It's a walk. Is it a pen or is it a warning for when they are sent to arrive? This is a pen. It don't get their head. It is possible. We will not know when they are coming, but we might. I suppose that's up to Rendizo, but please, don't barrage him with DMs. He's quite busy at the moment. Oh no, I won't. Yeah, they got I arrested. I will start the line then. No, I will be here at the line, at the ready. I will join you. Uh, we don't have we to hold our arms up, we're just stand in the line. Aggressively. No. Just keep the line prepared. Are you trying to Aggressively stand in the line. We're T posing in a line. Would you like to join us? This is the best I got, Chief. Ah, you. So okay. That works. Can... Together strong. Prepare. You know, stand here. And when they arrive, no, raise up your arms. What is it? Where is it? There we go. Oh no, if I keep flying up, wait. Crap. I remember the one that <laughs> <No. I sell>. <laughs> <laughs> The graph. <laughs> Mundus has claimed Finally. We're no. real paradise quickly. No, oh, copyright strike.
version like over the like I, once they arrive just stay, everyone just stay silent and just with the music playing the thing, thing is like my, the thing line. is like after after the choir it cuts I it immediately that. cuts to the freaking you theme why would you ask if it's smokable <sighs> that's the racist question so we, hold on i'm down <laughs> where like where like uh, it like it does the choir part in it. and it immediately the orchestral like in incredible orchestral music yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that, do that. Oh, wait. I could, uh... Assault. Finally. I can use my... I can use my... Alright. Now I'm back. Apologies. I've been a bit busy backstage. As far as these shenanigans... I'd like to... Hi, back. Back. I'm pack back. Back. Pack. You smell nice. I am... Perfectly <laughs> willing. <laughs> Disgusting. Is that your inner conscience? In this shenanigan. Have mercy. I'm trying my best like to not break. Travelers. <laughs> I will. <laughs> <laughs> see two arms come out of I will. You're not holding your arms out. And I am. No, no, no. Jesus. 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 Oh my god. Not that way. I will slap you this <laughs> You just pee okay. on her? <laughs> they have about a minute to two. <laughs> <laughs> we have a minute. We have a minute. Get into position. Get into positions, everybody. No idea what that's from. Captain, we have a minute. Ambient bag from the microwave. <laughs> 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 you stick it so many people in your stick and hot dog in his mouth will be cooked when you pull it out. He's unlocked, so I'm extreme. 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 Are you sure that nobody has gangsters paradise? Wait, what? What? I said, no, I know the Halo music works with people. Gangster Paradise yeah, works with Sonic. Yeah, that's the one that pairs with the people. Okay, so, uh, oh, well. Shadow, I guess we are here. I will be right here. Is there here. no Gangster's Paradise Delta, Halo who's theme playing the music? Games. You or me? Do you want to play the music? I, I got the or 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 intense orchestra. Do you want to play? Okay, okay. Once they arrive, you play the music, and as, when, hold on, hold on. So we're all in sync. So we're all in sync. Once the music starts playing, Everyone raise up your arms and just silently stare. Does everyone get that? I, sure. I heard yeah, that. Once the music plays, raise up your arms oh, and just soul. look at the gate. Look at the archway. Okay, stop. We're very intensely drunk. I had one. Thank you, Trajan. You can keep your arms rested for now, but when the music plays, just... <laughs> but when I start, when I start being loud, you guys go... Is it alright with everyone if I just really overdo it? Like, really go loud? We're, we're I really want you to. Just... <laughs> like, I yeah, really, really want you to change. It is, it is uh... Alright, well, I'll just wake up the neighbors then. Don't get away. I mean, the thing is, fuck your neighbor. I do have a, I have a base. This gave police last time. He'd be more scared about what I'm I want you to be afraid to look him in the eyes next time you see your neighbors. Okay. But when I'm a trade.
gets here and lets us know we will we'll, we'll be rich. <laughs> Someone should really take a picture of this. <laughs> Are you participating, Gary? Oh wait, you don't. Ready, get ready, get ready. They're on the way. It's almost time. All right, all right. Delta, Delta, get Everyone, shut the fuck up. Everyone, be quiet. Everyone, be quiet. Everyone, be quiet. Everyone, be quiet. Why is that the thing that breaks y'all? <laughs> it's just cool. Come down, come down, come down. We got this. Don't worry. We got this. Yeah, just mute yourself. Banana nothing. Just pretend we're presenting in school. Let's remember this moment forever. With curiosity. <laughs> <laughs> they probably stopped for narration. They'll probably be very, very, very soon. God damn it. Just T-posing has displayed so much dominance that I have regressed away from the Alpha Tour Guide to the Beta to the Omega. Back to the Sigma Tour Guide. <laughs> Another glorious, memorable moment in the adventures of the VR travelers. Or you yes. say another. Cool. Thank you for the music. <laughs> yes, thank you, Smiles. Oh, up, my Praise are be now. the Smiles! Travelers, <laughs> gather oh, around. Reasons. Your attention, please. The story continues. <laughs> My friends, welcome to the Holy City. We are nearing the end of the tour. <sighs> the painter parks the dark mech outside the city and enters. He walks past the cobblestone steps through the streets, brushing his hand on the stone wall. This place is beautiful. 
The moss hanging from the walls, the flowers. It's familiar. He's sure he's never been here. But at this point, he doesn't trust any of his thoughts. This feeling depresses him and fills him with regret. He's sure that he's done things that he shouldn't. But perhaps there's a way to right this. The painter speaks with the locals, and he learns that this city is led by a church. And the leader of that church is Mother Sophia. My friends, to continue the story, you must complete a quest. The quest is as follows. Together, as a group, walk around this town. Find a place that you all seem to feel is the most beautiful, the most scenic, the best for a group photo. Once you all have decided, pose together. Choose a photographer and take a photo. When you are satisfied with your group photo, please come find me. I will be waiting for you down the steps at the back entrance. Good luck, travelers. <laughs> Find the most beautiful place. Let's do it on so we're all just gonna Let take, take a picture a with Sheen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. That's a valid <laughs> point right there. <laughs> oh. You know what? Yeah, I'll just go Go where Sheen's going. Yes, Sheen. Come back, 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 uh, they should this... be coming back. Oh, oh, they're what the endangered species oh, has to say. Prisoner. Also, okay. you are a prisoner now too. I referee. suggest we do hardcore parkour. Run so big, out boy. Out of bounds. 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 I guess sir. I like this <laughs> idea. <laughs> I like the bears. The bending the laws of this. Yes. Alright, I broke the laws of this. Now, I now we take a picture at this. Everyone <clears throat> come put their backs against the trees and face forward. The picture will be taken. Wait, so. what will be the magic word? What will be the magic word? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. T pose. There's a lot of, uh, oh, there's, there's a lot of um, preparation. We need to get everyone that. here and we we'll eventually need to get. Sheen and Trajim and Renisa to come over here as well. Yeah. But this should be the spot. Oh. Yes. Exactly. Pro take going extra for the photo. Get out of my... Just like a normal protagonist. Ah, uh, my precious Selly boy. In honor of before, we I should no all tee pose for the photo. I have no precious boy to any male. <laughs> well, you're probably a precious boy to Luna. <laughs> I can't Wait, nah, that's you know, you're probably closer. That's probably closer. When the photo's being taken, we all tee pose. Let's see. We I'm should all keep people, 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 come. Sheen. What so about me? Well I can't, can't do that. I only Over have one here. tracker. No worries. You see. The the point. Point. Yeah. Not... Remember, Sheen is everywhere. Everywhere. Every 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 okay. Plot twist. <laughs> Sheen is actually the Unis Mendes. <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness gracious. Oh my tight. I am everywhere. Okay, tell us not in anybody's in way. No, I'm not. not in the sauce this time. Well, she she cracked. She might have just You're not in the sauce? Oh no. Six digits? I think everyone should be in the frame. I'm not still here. Where is you you think or you're not? You can on, you. Hmm? I think this is the best uh, idea Kiner ever. Atlas Kiner is to keep asserting his Don't dominance in this photo. Everybody assert dominance. We should say Sigma VR Tour as the word. Sigma Tour. Oh my god, Ren. Angelic Chorus.
Do I think we're still missing somebody. <laughs> I'm still missing someone. Oh, fuck. Actually, I have everyone. Or I mean, shoot. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, well. Okay. I'll save that for later. That's my face. Okay. The pictures have been taken, children. Okay, like now, no. is there <laughs> anyone else that is actually missing? Because I don't want to leave anyone out. We have. Yeah, I think we are. Everyone that's important. Cool. Wow. We are missing shame. one important person, Trajan. Yeah, where's Trajan? Where's Trajan? That's the only important person oh, that's missing. Is. He's out by the gate. Every yeah. other important Travelers, person is here. I believe the photo is completed. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, Shadow Oats yes. said so. Perfect. Perfect. Get a watch. Travelers, this way. Thank you, Shadow. Uh -huh. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you, Shadow, eh? Oh, oh no, not the Canadianisms. Oh no, I didn't, I almost missed. I know, I just made it up on the phone. Maximum Maple Overdrive. Maximum Maple Overdrive. Exactly, it's the best overdrive. Oh. Yeah, like we have returned from out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> Boundary break. It felt Wait. more like in between General bounds. Kenobi. <laughs> General Kenobi. General Kenobi. 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 The story continues. The painter mean. speaks more with the locals, and he learned that this leader of this church, this Sophia, this mother Sophia, she often taught the people, instead of praying to God, to pray to your innermost thoughts and feelings. Everyone always wondered what she meant by that. However, when the painter hears this, something connects. He begins, finally, to remember. The painter races toward the cathedral. Travelers, welcome to the grand finale of the tour. This way. Welcome to Jurassic Park. It's for no expense. Well, almost down, but we're getting there. We the This on. This is music for the crystal room. That's why I fall asleep in the crystal room. <laughs> <laughs> Here, can I do fall asleep in the crystal room? I like the music here. Because My friends gather around and listen closely. If you look carefully, you can see each angel only has one wing. I ask all of you, what do you think that symbolizes? Complete mutual understanding. <laughs> they have to walk together. It also might represent humanity. Representing the humanity, the duality of man, the fact, the implication, 
that they have to walk together, work together, to find a path to fly. Yes, that is what Mother Sophia would have told the people. That is what the teachings of the church would tell of. But those that knew her close, those that knew the truth, they would know that there is a true meaning to this sculpture. One that only the artist and Mother Sophia know of. To completely understand another view, to perceive their observance through your eyes, to withstand the limitations of a world through the creations that you put before you within your own headspace, to withstand their hate, to value their love, to weigh their sorrow, to be clean enough to understand their happiness, to be compassionate enough to support their determination. Is this not the definition of true love? Is this not what it means to be as one? Is this not what it takes to finally regain control? I'm searching for that answer desperately, my friends. My very good friends. I... I do have one final surprise for you. Please. This way. Hug the sheen. Hug the cube. Hug the cube. Praise the cube. Become the yeah. cube. Cube a piece. Cube. Praise. Praise. Cube. Praise. Praise. Every step I take. Oh my gosh, these stairs. Cube a praise. The cube has been praised. Praise the cube. Praise the cube. Praise the cube. Not a cult. Praise the cube. 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 It's not a cult. It's the occult. <laughs> Travelers. It's a cube. Not a Travelers, cube. it is my honor to finally introduce to you a light in the dark. Mother Sophia, this way. Cube, 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 cube. Tell me when to open my eyes. Open your eyes. Oh. Thank you. Hey, yeah, dear. Do we have enough paint and stuff for that? The MA Moto with a. What? Let's make him right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you do bring it back with you. <sighs> Here, in this warm, sunlit room, Sophia sat quietly in that chair as the painter captured her likeness into this now ether-infused portrait. My friends, if you look closely, you can see the portrait is not finished. This place is a time capsule, existing through the lines via mimetic channels. 
It is external, outside of our normal perception, the original story that all of this is based on. It is outside of social role. And here, of course, is where a commoner from the outskirts of the city, an artist, could be alone with a leader of a nation's church. This place belonged to them as it does to us. And only the gods watched as their wills perfectly synced, and they fell in love. The painter never wanted this purgatory to end. He believed he would never get into heaven to have a future with her. He wanted to stay here. Sophia, with brilliant empathy, knew this. She saw right through the painter and loved everything about him. She let him lie. And the painter did lie. As he told her, he needed to gather the pigments necessary to finish the portrait. And thus, he delayed this process for weeks, for months. They went on meeting here day after day as he painted her and returned home to gather what he needed. One day, the painter is on his way away from the cathedral when he blacks out. When he awakes, he finds hundreds of years has passed. He makes his way back to the city. He makes his way to the cathedral. He sees the people around are not those he recognizes. The buildings are slightly different. He is a newcomer here. He rushes into the cathedral, up the stairs, across the balcony. He looks at the sculpture. It's still there, unchanged, and he feels a twinge of pain in his mind as he watches it, but he keeps running up the stairs again, and he burst into this sunlit room. And here he finds the paints gone. The chair, gone. The portrait hung on the wall. And Mother Sophia, gone. The painter then learns that Mother Sophia sacrificed herself for the city long ago. The painter does not understand why these people deserve her sacrifice. He does not understand why he lacked the power to save her. He feels hate and he's losing control. But the encephalon cannot deviate from standard mimetic recordings and thus the painter realizes these are not his own thoughts. Something is creating these emotions in his head. That lead block of memory. The painter finds the strength to push it aside. And for a brief moment, he sees her. Sophia, she is alive. And he knows who she is, where she is, waiting. The weight comes back harder, shrouding his memory once again. He can feel a cold anger with it. He looks directly at the dark, mimetic entity in his head, and they see each other for the first time. The painter sees a masked man standing in front of a blood moon over a cold, dark desert. 
Who are you? The painter screams. The dark entity motions for the painter to approach, and then vanishes. He sees nothing else, but he knows where he must go. And my friends, on to the ending of this broken story. This way. Was it really that broken? How'd you find your way? Like, uh, this big world. Bro, I just got here. Have to go back downstairs. Oh my god. Such is my legs. Here we go. This is bullshit. <laughs> For glory. Oh god. Ah. <laughs> oh. Eh. No space magic heal. It's a dead bug. <laughs> Is it warm in here for you? Yeah. No. Travelers, this hey, way. Go. Let's make haste. Finally, we killed. This is bullshit. All right, to make it, we need, we need like a full beacon, uh, full powered time beacon. Time to time to time to make some poor choices. Heather. Lunar. All right, who's Can got we iron blocks? We need to make haste. As the as the base. Uh, uh, we need to iron though. We need to make a golem. We need to make iron a golem. Farm, you could just make irons as the, iron as the base. Yes. I mean, we could make <laughs> iron. Or if you want to flex not, the netherite block. <laughs> oh my god. Netherite block. It's graphics, graphics, come on, come on, follow yeah, us, follow us, graphics, graphics. Graphics, come on. Okay, okay. <sighs> oh, Lord, they coming. I'm sand cruising. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What, no. what did you say about a suspicious individual? What, what did you... My friends, I heard among us. <coughs> with the dark mech at his command, the painter flies high speed into the dark sky. The sand is far below him. This way, friends. Go to the desert. Oh, hey, and the sand is friggin' yeah, hot! Yeah, well, that still works. <laughs> your mom. Hey, we should probably stop probably the not. the dark mech crushed in. Yeah. I want us unfortunate. Nah, too late. Nah, nah, just leave it. Just leave it. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, man. Just it. It's not needed at all. Yeah, at least it won't. Don't find it, Peter. Dum, dum, dum. No. Hey, look up. Hey, yo, yeah, what is it's, that it's, thing? It's, the, it's, the it's Batman! From the, first movie, from the first prequel movie. No, 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 no. It's the giant droid starship carrier. Travelers, right. stop here. <clears throat> ah! I'm going to attempt to follow with what energy I have left. <laughs> You're right. I'm going to try and shoot it down you? now. <laughs> Get pets. <laughs> the story <laughs> continues. Are we sure we're not seeing Mirage over there? Oh, well, that's why. It does that Mirage? The desert <laughs> is unnaturally cold. He flies over the dune, surveying his surroundings. The pressure is getting stronger. He knows he is close. Overhead, he sees... What is that? A floating city? No, it's much too big to be a city. It must be the size of a small country. The painter's nerves turn to ice when he sees that this flying object is heading in the direction 
of the mimetic pressure. My friends, this way. Who's ready for a fight? Always. Is that a mirage? Oh, that's right. You fight by staring at your enemies. Is that a mirage? Hey, Tree Jam. There you are. <laughs> Tree Jam. I'm just hey. a mirage. <laughs> Activating Photon Sword! Uh, activating, uh, uh... Bird here, Mongols. Mirage Jim. Think so. <laughs> Hell, no. You've never shown me this. All I have is a but I ain't got no bullets. Are you sure? Okay, no, Mirage Jim. Damn, darling. Did you The painter continues until he sees him. He knows who he is, but he can't explain why. High atop the rock pillar is a horrible machine. That's fine, just crumbled. Glowing with dark ether and glaring at the painter. It stands, a menacing bronze mech. Slow, a voice intrudes on his mind. You are incomplete. You are not the rightful owner of that power. Give it back or die. The painter notes his voice is like needles of fire. His mind stings when he speaks. But he gathers his thoughts enough to respond. Where is she? Where is who? You don't even know. You know nothing. I... I will find her. Whatever you are. I know the song. The dark entity pauses, then responds with anger. Then prove it. Show me you can use that power and not end yourself by it. The bronze mech raises its hand. My fist is the divine breath. Blossom, O fallen seed, and draw upon thy hidden powers. Grant unto thee the glorious mother of destruction. The ground shakes. A huge sandworm surfaces and attacks the painter Attack readies for a fight while the bronze <laughs> mech looks on my friends the sandworm <laughs> barrels toward the dark mech and you have 30 seconds to tell what the painter does your time begins now we either dodge and go for the belly first, or dodge and go for the tail first. I don't remember which one. I think your outfit's switching up a little there. Yes. Yes. Tell me, the sandworm prepares to attack. 
What does the painter do? <coughs> he grabs the thing. He breaks. He breaks every. He, he punches him in the stomach. He, he breaks his thing. I go for that. Take one. First one. The first one. The first one. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> I understand. The following happens. Oh yeah. The sandworm screeches, and the, the atmosphere shakes with the shriek of its roar. It pounces on the dark mess, but the painter flies into a flurry of attack, ripping and punching at its gaping maw. He causes some damage to the head, but then he sees his opening as the bulging stomach is in clear sight. He retracts the left leg and brings the leg back forward as hard as it will let him. He punctures the stomach and the sandworm shrieks again and tumbles away. The scales covering the worm around the stomach area close. The sandworm has been severely damaged, but rights itself and begins barreling toward the painter again for a second attack. My friends, you have ten seconds to decide what the painter will do. Punch him in the groin! Kick his butt! Does the worm even have a groin? That's the real question. We'll find one. I like your thinking. Still gonna work. At least it doesn't have pity. Because that would be kind of weird, not gonna lie. Uh, you know, I, I I'm hope not gonna go to that. I hope I picture that. I hope you Time picture that. Expired. What do we do, Salty Baby? Ooh. Fastball's out. Shadow. Zero T. Mm. Tell me. Luscious stick of butter. What does the painter do? <laughs> <laughs> God. Hmm. I would say. I would say. Yes. Dodge to the left. Grab its tail. Snap it off. I understand. The worm twists and turns through the dunes, and sand flies everywhere. The painter has a difficult time getting a visual of where it is. But he's ready. He dives to the left and dodges the razor-sharp mouth of the worm. The worm collides with the dune and lodges itself underground. Quickly, the painter rolls himself up and grasps the tail. He ignites the thrusters of the dark mech and twists as hard as he can, snapping the tail completely off. The worm screams and the ground shakes. The painter looks up and he sees the bronze mech is not moving, still watching the battle. Suddenly, an alarm goes off in the cockpit. Warning, ether amplifier fully charged. Warning, ether amplifier fully charged. The worm, still alive, prepares for its final attack. It barrels toward the dark mech once again. Travelers, you have ten seconds. What okay. does the painter do? Do not push the button because we need to save the button for the mech. Just go for the head. Dodging, go for the head. 
<laughs> Nine from four, four and one go for the head. Anyway. I want someone to rip his contestants out for his ass. Doing, because he's done everything the right way, but it's the same thing. No! What do we do? Yes, that's a valid strategy. What is the word guys just saying? No? Just remember. It won't have incestants by that time. I don't want to yeah, but you were just the asshole, so you tell him to rip his ass. Yeah. So what's the thing now? Is it in the stomach or something? Stick? The head is not in the head. Stick the hand in the intestines and then no. pull them out. No head. Boom. Easy. That's a lot of dead. I mean, I want to say the lies about that bit and then just rip a head off of a freaking idiot. Time has expired. Travelers. Bump it off the rubbish bag. Come on, Charles. Come on. Ghostly Wolf 208. Travelers, your silence, please. Apologies. Ghostly Wolf, the sandworm. Still alive, still dangerous, barrels toward the dark mech. The painter is ready. What does he do? Punch it in the face. Oh. Yeah, punch it in his face, yeah. worm barrels toward the dark mech and suddenly jumps on a dune and is airborne now heading directly down towards the painter the painter thinks should I press the button should I should I dodge no the answer is clear I should punch it in the face and so the painter readies his fist, crouches down, and uppercuts as hard as he can the sandworm right in the face. Hell yeah. The worm shrieks. One punch. As the sand falls, the painter sees the worm fall to the ground, defeated and lifeless. But as he looks over its body, he sees the bronze mech is no longer there. Now, now, it is racing toward him. My friends, the bronze mech is about to attack. The light for the ether amplifier is still flashing. What does the painter do? You have ten Press seconds. Push the button. Push the button. Push the button. Push the button. Press the button gently with our toe. Let's blow the, the fuck up. Push the button. German suit the robot into the ground. Oh my. Travelers, oh. I have heard your answer. The painter presses the button for the ether amplifier, and the hands fold together as if by instinct. The beam ignites, and the sky turns white. Manual control restored. Welcome back. Everything goes white. Travelers, at this time, please turn off 
your world music. I repeat, please turn your world music to zero. After a while, the painter's vision comes back to him. The dashboard of the dark mech is not there. He can't feel himself blink, but everything's white. In the distance, he sees a faint purple smoke. What is that? What? I am pure ether. I am the beginning and the end. The first and the last. God? A am I dead? God. Some would refer to me as that. From a certain point of view, it is right to view me as such. But at the same time, I am not. I am also a part of you. Part of your consciousness that is spilling into here. Part of me. I am defined by how you observe me. You are actually speaking to a virtual version of my will that you yourself create and in fact limited by the perception of you both. Both? I don't understand. What are you talking about? Who? What are you? In one word, unity. Unity? I do not have a physical form. I am an existence of a higher dimension, a place where time and space is under absolute control. The fluctuating void of wills where there is nothing but waves of ether on the shores of creation. A wave existence seeking residence through unfortunate dissonance. Wha what does such a thing, a being like you, have to do with me? Long ago, all was one, a single plane, a perfect unity. Then a paradigm shift occurred. The cause seemed to simply come from the future. Time was curled up into a ball in this era. So, for something to reach out of it, to place itself ahead of predetermined events, to circumvent destiny, truly must have been incredible. A will strong enough to break the observer's line of sight is the only explanation. Soon after this great separation, the dimensions you now walk in were formed. Life came into existence a natural phenomena towards the most efficient state of energy. The only force working against increasing entropy. However, life was not enough. It was already on the path to lose. That was until you, you and her, you achieved a connection that broke through the container of time. You achieved a way for the wishes from above to continue a story past its ending. A true anomaly. Just the same as the will that caused the great separation did so long ago. Upon your growing understanding of each other's limitations in this place, I became conscious, a brief unification of the observer and the observed, an event, an event catalyst to occupy the same rule set. One could say the sacred ingredients to true free will, mirrored and nested 
in reflection of itself. Finally, all planes begin to converge on a single point, the point the two of you created, a path to the good ending. I work to help you as a consciousness concept, as a conscious concept that can see down this path of probability. I know what works to hide this path from you. I know you have also sensed him. Uh, sen sensed him? Who? You, you mean... He is reaching out of the narrative, no longer confined in your tale. He will destroy everything as the past does not bend to his will anymore. There are those working against him, Painter. Can you feel them? They are here, filled with hope, watching you, guiding you through this world as you exist only in a story to them. I, I don't understand. You have done this before. They persist to help. Painter, do not go down his path. Do not follow. You will become same. Save. What? Your, your voice is... You're fading. Wait. What about her? Where is she? All of you. Reach past the narrative. This is the power you have to save the speaker. Together. Save him. The painter opens his eyes to see the bronze mech gone. He looks around, and he hears the voice. It's here still. An incomplete vessel to be given such power. You will live. You will live to grow that power until it consumes you. You will live until you end yourself as you lose control, and that will be the end of your world. And if your world does not come to an end, after you're gone, after you kill yourself, I will destroy everything left behind. The memetic pressure is gone. The memory weight is still there, but it's lighter. She's alive. The painter breathes hard. He knows he has to find her, and he will. My friends, welcome to the good ending of the painter. The headset has literally died. I, I cannot I see anything. So you don't need to see anything. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Put it back on. Time out. I just no, no. My sensors. I just covered up my sensors and uncovered it. And I'm. <sighs> oh, oh my God. I'm about to say I opened uh, my I eyes and I just said, "What about yeah. this?" Yeah. What about no? I just covered up the sensors and then uh, just because I could. You did it. You made it through the eyes. My boundaries are all destroyed though, so that's another thing. It's time for me to sit the fuck down. God, Jesus. Uh -huh. yes. If you would kindly oh, give me your attention for a few more minutes. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. I have a lot of attention.
First of all, <laughs> I think I love this audio deck. that for his performance today, Sheen deserves a <laughs> round of applause. Yes, yes. And tonight's oh, NPC is well done. Like fucking moron. Oh, hey. Yeah. Yeah. My friends. <laughs> my friends, for those who do not know us, we are VR travelers. We create immersive, story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, and wholesome team effort. We do this for fun. We do this for free. And we do this for you. However, I ask one favor of you. Please join our growing Discord community and post your photos and comments from today's tour there. The code for the Discord community is in my status or Sheen's status. And if you need help join joining it, please come to us after we are done here. We will help you. There you can discuss alternate endings to our tours, secrets of the rendezvous itself, and more. Additionally, if you really enjoy the work that we all put into these stories, and you want to help us do this more and improve everything, please consider supporting us on Patreon. It is only $3 a month. For a whole year of supporting us, you would still have paid less for your average game. It grants you access to many mysteries, behind the scenes features, eligibility to play NPCs in some tours, the private Discord channels, and more. The link to the Patreon is in the information channel of our Discord. My friends, for a few minutes the floor is yours, however, in approximately Two minutes, that's two Trajan minutes, not Sheen minutes. We will open a, a portal back to the rendezvous where we will all, all embark together on the after party. But for now, the floor is yours. The floor is mine. I don't think I want to have this floor. It's too sandy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Yo, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna and also, everything from now on is stuff we haven't seen and before. Thank you. Oh, 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 thank you.